آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم الآخر. الله الرحمن الرحيم. My brothers and sisters in Islam, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Allah سبحانه وتعالى in the Quran mentions the story of Yusuf عليه الصلاة والسلام. And when he's mentioning the story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, he mentions about his brothers who plotted against him in order to kill him or either to throw him to a far away land. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that when they were planning, they said to themselves, do it now and later on we can repent. We can be righteous people. Now my brothers, it is a trick of shaitan. This is how shaitan works. Remember when a person is going to commit a sin, when he's planning to commit a sin, shaitan uses hope and fear. Before a person has committed a sin, shaitan brings in hope in him and says, don't worry, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive you. He's hopeful and this hope leads him to commit a sin. But once he commits a sin, shaitan takes away that hope and brings in fear. And now a person is afraid that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would, would never forgive me. And he's hopeless. Whereas in the real, it would have been the opposite. A person should be afraid before committing a sin. And that is the taqwa of Allah. He should be afraid that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might not forgive me. And then, even if he had committed sin somehow because of the lower iman, then he shouldn't commit even a major sin. And that is to become hopeless of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He should be hopeful and he should repent immediately to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us all. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah is the creator of heaven and of earth. Nothing may compare with him. He is the one alone. The prophet.